Well, alrighty then. We fixing to clean up some cleanups. All right, folks. Good afternoon. Good day. Good morning. Good evening. Good night. Uh, hello, everybody. This is the living room panner. I'm glad to see everybody. Hope everybody's doing very well and uh, doing what they love to do. All right, folks. Well, I'm off work and I had an itch to do a little playing in some dirt, so it's time to clean some stuff up. I have a couple pans here that uh, some concentrates. Uh, this happens to be some stuff I ran through that La Trap, and I'm not anticipating much in this, but I got a, another pan and I got some other cons that I'm kind of wanting to go through. So I'm going to make a little video here. And I'm going to try something new and do a little editing. So bear with me on this. Let's see how this goes. I have no idea. All right. Well, YouTube is in no way affiliated, sponsoring, and endorsing. This is all the old pattern. So y'all just sit back and enjoy the show. It's time to go through some, go through some dirt and try to find some shiny. And uh, I can tell you already, this is uh, nothing bigger than one-eighth. I've classified all my cons down now to everything below 1.8. I've got all the bigger stuff separated. So this is 1.8 uh, above above 10, plus 10, minus 1.8. So let's see what's in here. And this, again, is what I ran through that little trap, so I'm not anticipating much. So here we go. Get all that stuff off the top. And I can already see a bunch of those maroon purplish colored little garnets in there. That's all stuff from uh, from Dirt Hog up in Canada. All them little garnets, man. Their stuff's loaded with those things. I wish I could get them out of there easy and uh, have a container full of those little garnets would be cool. They're pretty, but they're very small. All right, let's keep it's coming on out. I hear Flash Bash is starting uh, tomorrow, and uh, several people I know in the community are going, and it looks like a lot of fun, but, man, way far from me. That's like 18 hours, so no way I can do something like that, but... One day, it's on my bucket list, man. I see a little piece of shiny in there. Right there. Yep, one little small, smaller size flake, or all depends on where you come from, small, large. But there is a little flake of gold in there. So the little trap, first time I ran it, actually caught some gold that I didn't expect it to catch anything because I didn't think much was in there. But there it is, folks. And there's a little piece of powder gold, too. I can just barely see it. All right. That's pretty darn clean. Yeah. If you look real close right there, you'll see that speck. One little speck. So let me get my snuffer box. And let me tell you, I know there's a bunch of good stuff in here. I know there is. All right, we're back. Let's see how this works. I got some of this uh, seconds that I've been going through that big bucket of. And this is... Uh... All right, we're back. Let's see how this works. I got some of this uh, seconds that I've been going through that big bucket of. And this is... Uh plus 30 um, I'm sorry plus 20 this is plus 20 size and it's seconds so let's go through this real quick and just see if something happens to be in here so I have no idea I found that little flake a minute ago so there could be another flake in here let's see what comes out Plus 30, minus 20. Okay, we're slowly getting there. Takes time. But that's why I'm needing to learn editing. 
so I can cut out some of the the time consumptions. Uh, panning takes a while. It ain't like coin roll searching or bill searches or something like that. It's pretty quick. This is it's time consuming, but the positive for me personally is it's relaxing. It's really nice to sit here and do this, whether I'm videoing it or not. Even all, all aspects of it. I mean, uh, what I do anyways, the way I do it. Uh, everything from classifying down and getting it organized that way to uh, getting set up and then actually panning it. And then the, the final results is the clean up and drying, weigh it. Man, it's, it's fulfilling to see that you get a little shiny out of this stuff for the effort I put into it. So to me, it's enjoyable and I, I, I want to share this with folks. I, I really want to share my experience. I want to share my information, my knowledge, anybody that has any questions or hey, even if you just want some shiny, I can, you know, teach you or show you or tell you how, you know, you can, you can get it. There's many ways, I mean, uh, you don't need a very large setup to be able to pan gold. This is something that can be done pretty easily in your home, just like I do it. I don't make a mess. I do it very clean and organized. I have one little area in my living room that's that's all my gold panning stuff, and then I have my desk with all my my silver and safes and things like that with coinage and stuff so I don't take up a lot of room so I was saying earlier about I I do have things going on on my channel I'm trying to incorporate my old old some of my old games and giveaways with an with a new kind of an idea and twist so I'm still working on it but uh, it's kind of like a Patreon, but it's my way. You know, I like to be original and do things my own way. So that's exactly what this is. It's going to be my original way of doing this. And uh, it's still going to allow people great chances at great, great things. So allow everybody to have fun, enjoy what we do. Nope. Just a little bit of flower gold in there, and I mean it's little, very little. I'm gonna suck it up anyways. All right, there it is. I'll be right back.